Hi, I'm Renee McHugh. I'm here today to tell you a little bit about the fifth annual Japanese Summer Festival on June 16th from 12 to 5.30. It's a full day of Japanese culture, food, activities, and dancing. And uh, today's show will give you a little sample of what to expect on that day. Uh, the feature performance is the Yukon Taiko performance from 4.30 to 5.30 at Blueback Square. It's a, a powerful drumming group. And also, we have uh, a kendo bamboo fighting demo uh, provided by Yale University. And that's at 1 o'clock. So those are some of those. Those are a couple of the big events. But there's all kinds of things going on all day. Everything is free. Um, so today, we have three or four different groups that are going to give you a little bit of a sample. And the first one is now up to do a little dancing number for you. Language School in West Hartford. And how are you? Hi. Yeah. And what is your name? It's my name is Mitsunari Kawaguchi. I'm principal of the Japanese Language School of Greater Hartford. All right. Very good. And they're, they're in the Salman Schechter Day School yes. in Bona Vista. Yeah. And that's new to West Hartford as of last February. Yes. Very that. good. So uh, part of the Japanese Summer Festival is a performance by some members of your school, right? Yes. Right? Can you tell me a little bit about that? How many, how many kids? I understand you're going to have some percussion. You're yeah. going to have... Tell me about that. So we are playing and performing with 12 kids. Mm -hmm. Yes. And 
and two professional violinists. Oh, two professional violinists. Yes, two professional yeah. and also kids violinists. Uh, yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> Which is my friend Hope, why she's here today, because she's going to be performing. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and some parents dancing, and also okay. one of the parents is a, a professional ballet dancer. Professional ballet dancer? Yeah. And also pianist. And a pianist, yes. okay. And you're going to have tambourines and triangles. Yeah. And, and so all of this is going to all go on, chore you know, all orchestrated. Yeah. Yes, on, on, the, on the pergola of Blueback Square yes. as one of the performances at 2 p.m. Not to be missed, for yeah. sure. Yes, yes. Now, you don't normally dress like this, do you, as a principal? No. And the wig? Don't we normally wear the wig? No. Why are you dressed like this today? So this is the <laughs> music composer of yeah. the okay. our program, the Jonas Sadik, the Land of uh, Passion. Okay, so the Land of Passion. Yeah. Okay. The, the composer name is Taro Hakase. Yeah. So I'm just pretending him. Okay. He can play okay. violin, but okay. I cannot. I'm just pretending and dancing. <laughs> And she can play, so she wants to be oh. like him. Yeah. Oh, very good. I don't. Yeah. Want to stay like me? Okay. <laughs> she just wants to just stay like her. That's a good. That's yeah. a good thing to live by. Absolutely. Now, in the 1980s, he was a rock star, right? He was like all that. Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah. <laughs> so we want to pretend the 1980s. Yes. yes. The good. The economic situation. Our uh -huh. dancing. Uh huh. Yeah. But it's uh -huh. not like it because. It's not like that. It's like, like, an 1800. Like, it's like, it's more like 1800, not like right now. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Well, we're going to give a little sample today. We're going to hear a little bit of the music. So she will play the violin. Okay, so we'll stop right here and we'll, and we'll get right to it. My next guest is an expert calligrapher who's going to lead a calligraphy workshop at the uh, former Lucy Space, which, uh, which is at the corner of Isham and Memorial. Thank you to Blueback Square. Uh, it's a vacant store space, so we're doing a couple of things off site, but nearby Blueback mm -hmm. Square. And my guest today is... My name is Masumi Komatsu. Yes, and so <laughs> she has this very cool equipment here. And so on the day of the festival, you know, anyone can learn how to write mm. their name in Japanese letters. Yes. Uh, she, she is, you know, an expert in the field. She's, she is very um, interested in sharing the Japanese culture, you know, in addition to the, the letters that you'll see. So, so there's, there's a lot that goes into it. Um, mm -hmm. She is going to write Jap Japanese summer festival on, on this sheet of paper. So tell me about the, uh, the brushes, the paper, and the ink. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. And uh, uh, how to write and uh, just uh, I want to enjoy the Japanese calligraphy. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You want people to enjoy it and yeah. appreciate it. And mm -hmm. It's beautiful too because yeah. the characters have sound. Mm -hmm. the, do you call them radicals or do you call them characters or ah, each yes, of those yes, yes. characters? Yeah. Uh, they have certain sounds. Um, each line means 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 something different than something else. Mm -hmm. So uh, take us through how you would do that at the workshop. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, now? Yeah. Do now. Oh, yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So come. Okay. Uh, sorry. First step being ink. First step is the ink. You just put an ink in the ink well over here. Uh, it looks like it a nice, stroke. nice big brush. Yeah, yes. a wide brush. Okay. A dipping ink. You dip it. She gets really yes. saturated. Yeah. 
takes a little bit of the excess okay. off. What is your favorite season? Favorite season? Spring. Ah, oh, spring. Okay. Yes, yes. And the pad that she has, it's like a felt pad mm -hmm. um, with a, um, what kind of paper is this? Uh, washi rice, paper. rice paper. Rice paper. <laughs> rice paper. Yeah, I was going to say it felt thinner than parchment, but yeah, thin. And, yes. Um, but pores. Okay. I'm going to write uh, spring okay. in Japanese. <laughs> She's going to write spring in Japanese. Yes. All right. Very nice. Beautiful. <laughs> or a little beautiful. Can you see that? Uh, this is a spring. <laughs> this is spring. Yeah, this is spring. Very but very neat. easy. So yeah. <laughs> that was a good uh, to start. Very mm. good. Very Thank good. you very much. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. And then always, and then finally, uh, and then always, we like the my name. Uh, oh, my name. You put your name <laughs> yes, on yeah. each of those. Okay. Oh, here. Okay. And then that's why um, I want to uh, teach uh, you the, how to write a um, mm -hmm. Japanese character and uh, your name. For example, uh, your oh. name is? Uh, it's Renee. Renee? Renee. Uh, Renee, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like a... Just the sound is a read Okay. But okay. Um, each one word and has uh, meaning. Okay. This meaning is benefit, it's a good thing. <laughs> and this one is very gentle and very, oh. how to say, very kind and uh, oh. including a lot of meaning. <laughs> wow. So. Very nice. Mm. Very nice. <laughs> yes. And, and, and this character of spring, is it, is it just spring or? Yes. Are there elements of it similar to this that have other meaning, or is it just mean yeah. spring? Oh, uh, this meaning? Uh, yes, the, the just thing. a spring. But some people uh, use uh, their, their name. Okay. Yes, oh. part of uh, their name. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Oh, how interesting! Very good. Mm. And you, you have some other um, tools here. Yes. Um, uh, it looks like a loop. And uh, very, how do I say, fine, 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 fine tip yeah. kind of thing. Okay. And but this is a, another uh, way to, how do I say? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, for example, um, uh, Japanese have a three type of the uh, characters: okay. and kanji, hiragana, katakana. Okay. Okay. And then this is uh, one of the characters, kanji. Okay. But um, this stroke uses another. Uh, character. All right. <laughs> For example, okay. your name is Line, and then oh, and uh, okay. another <laughs> mm -hmm. um, character is okay. here. Okay. So. All right. Very good. <laughs> Great. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for giving us a little sneak preview of oh, what's well. going on. So stop by Lucy's mm -hmm. um, space, corner of Memorial and Aishum, during the Summer Festival, mm. which is from 12 to 5.30, all day long, all kinds of activities. This is just mm. a sample of how you can learn Japanese you know, yeah. language and calligraphy. <laughs>
And with me is Jackie, and inside Pokemon is Lisa. Hey, Lisa. <laughs> Lisa was, um, what was your character last year on the show? Prussia from Italia. Yes, yes, yes. So Jackie, tell me, what, how are you dressed? How does cosplay work? And what do contestants need to know? Well, today I'm dressed in an original costume for the dance we're going to be performing at the Cultural Festival. Handmade by myself, the jacket will be made by Noriko and everyone will be wearing some version of this or three other colors. Uh, okay, oh, okay. <laughs> so that gets into, into cosplay. Okay. So cosplay, costume play, and that's just dressing up as your favorite anime character from a video game, anything along those lines, as long as it's a Japanese genre. Okay, Then All it's right. called cosplay, otherwise it's something completely different. All right, <laughs> there you go, okay. And you've been doing this how long? About 10 years since I got out of high school. You're just having a good time with it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I've, yeah. Even, won, I've even won competitions. Good for you. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> and Lisa, too, huh? <laughs> and I remember uh, Lisa's telling us last year, too, that it's very important that it's handmade or elements yes. are handmade, yes. which is part of the criteria. It depends on which competition you're going into. Okay. Uh, the elements can go up depending on how professional they are because you can start making money off of this. Oh, okay, oh wow, okay, okay. <laughs> but um, generally, at least for ours, we're looking for about 90% of it made. Okay. Wigs right. are difficult, but I have seen those handmade as well. Okay, all right, <laughs> all right, good. And Pokemon is so wildly popular. Extremely. I mean, it, yes, so, so, and Pokemon will be at the festival? Yes, Pikachu yeah. will be there, also in cosplay. Uh, oh, Pikachu, oh, yes. excuse me. This is Pokemon. Pikachu. <laughs> yes, from the line of characters there. Hello yeah. Kitty will also be there dancing Hello with us. Hello Kitty, okay. Yes. Uh -huh. And seven other girls. Wow. Now will you be leading, um, you'll be doing your own dance, but will there be a participatory There was last year. Okay. We haven't quite discussed it okay. as much. We All don't right. know if we're going to have as much time as okay. last year. Okay. okay. We had quite a large slot last year. It was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> now contestants should do what on the day of the festival to be part of all this? They need to sign up. Come see us at the booth. We'll be okay. happy to sign up. It's five dollars to enter. Okay. But there is a money prize. Oh. Okay. And the amount that you win will be announced the day of. Okay. So that'll be based on the number of contestants. Exactly. Okay. The more they compete, the higher the prize. All right. All right. So okay. So you, then you register. Then what happens? And then we give you a number, okay. and you get ready to line up with us okay. around three three thirty. You can yeah. check the website for sure. Sure. Yeah. But otherwise, you just go down, strut your stuff, and do your best to act like your particular character. Oh, okay. That is the key to cosplay, is to just emulate the character as best as you can. Oh, okay, okay. So we'll get a, we'll see that on oh, yes. June 16th. We can't see a sneak preview now, which is the award-winning, um, you know. I was Sailor Moon last year. <laughs> Sailor Moon, yeah. <laughs> and Pikachu, of course, was there last year and this uh, year. Oh, I bet the kids just loved, loved Oh, Pikachu. they couldn't get enough of Oh, them. I know. How many photographs, right? You yeah. can't count. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a really a fun element to the Summer Festival. It and is. I'm so glad that it's back again, too. So are yeah. we. We're happy to still yeah. be here. So on June 16th, be sure to have your costume and your character, everything lined up, ready to go. Register at 2. Be ready for the parade of characters at 3, 3.30, we think. Check the website. And uh, participate in this super fun event during the Japan Summer Festival. <laughs>
I will be standing on the table while someone is lying on the table and actually using my foot, feet to massage people. So it's oh, okay. a really a unique um, style of massage. Yeah. Um, and people who really want deeper, uh, deep tissue type of work, okay. um, you can really get a great benefit. Um, you actually have to um, sign up, um, come to the booth, okay. sign up. Um, okay. I was pretty busy last year, um, booked full from beginning to the end. Wow. So wow. Um, please come up and sign up. And, wow. <laughs> yep. Very good. Um, it'll be um, $20 and uh, you're going to get mini um, massage session. You can experience that for um, yeah. Unlike, $20, yeah, unlike 15 minutes. Unlike anything else that they have ever had, yeah. Yep. Yeah, oh my goodness. So, so, they, so they lie flat and, um, and then you just manipulate I just, feet. right, I just walk yeah. on people. You just walk on people. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you ask like where uh, things are achy or tender? Yes, I, or? Yeah, I can ask uh, a yeah. certain area that um, if you have area that you want me to focus on, mm -hmm. I can certainly do that. Um, yeah. It's, yeah, it's a, it's a, Different, <laughs> completely now, is different. Is this technique. kind of massage unique to Japanese culture? Yes, oh, yes. Okay. We do okay. have um, a traditional ashiatsu or shiatsu style massage that it's on, done on the floor, um, on a tatami mat. Um, but the one, the style that I do is um, has American twist on. So, okay. um, ashi mean foot. Okay. Atsu mean pressure, so it's okay. a foot pressure, barefoot massage. But I will be doing on a table, so it's a little bit of. Um, Americanized version of okay, it, okay. Um, but you you get the best of both sure, worlds because sure, um, sure. um, if you come to my um, office, um, the pressure can be actually with the lubricant gliding stroke. So okay, um, okay. that's the um, in office version. But um, okay. I uh, I'll be demonstrating um, uh, compressions and a lot of stretching. Mm -hmm, um, those mm -hmm. techniques are included in in this. Um, kind yeah okay of the event <laughs> now in japanese culture is this um naturopathic health type of um of wellness yep you know is, is this a philosophy you know common yep yeah. practice there yeah, <laughs> yeah. practice there yep. and here you know instead of medicine right. you kind of use so uh, what's in your body right yeah <laughs> very good um, is there anything else you want to tell us about it? Um, there will be some um, essential oil and health okay. and wellness related products available for purchase. So okay. Um, okay. If you, even if you don't get to sign up for um, you know mini massage session, um, you can check those out at my okay. um, vendor, vendor space. Oh, very good. But your office isn't very far from West Hartford, so <laughs> if you can't get in, yeah. you can always uh, find out a little more information. Yeah. And thank you for being a sponsor of this festival. Oh, thank it's you been for so having me. Popular. Yeah, and you come every year. You yeah. set up your tent. Very popular. And all if right. you take a chance, hey, you know, you just might relieve all those aches and yeah. pains. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Right. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you. All right. And you're there through the duration of the whole. Uh, time. Yes, I'll be there the whole 12 time. 12 to 5.30. Yep. Perfect. Very good.